guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing us how i created this beautiful bat wing top using just one yard of duchess fabric then i also used lace trimmings to design the neckline of this top just to give it that pop and make it beautiful so if you want to create this top you can actually make it a one and a half yard or two yards depending on your size or your client size also if you're looking forward to recreating the top kindly watch this video to the end if you have any question drop it in the comment section and we're going to be there to answer all questions please 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 don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share leave your comment and subscribe to our channel so let's go straight into the tutorial guys for this tutorial we are going to be needing our tape roll our scissors our chalk elastic band and of course your fabric so right here I have just one yard of Duchess fabric it also has this silky feel but if you're going to be recreating yours please kindly make it of one and a half yard of fabric because this one wasn't really enough for me so I ended up joining pieces of fabric just to create my bands so the next thing I'm going to do is to fold this in four the longer part is going to be serving as the width of my fabric why the shorter one will be serving as the length of my fabric so let's measure this width what we have here is almost 30 inches i think this is 20 29 inches so i'm going to be marking 24 inches here that is from my shoulder to my wrist 24 inches then from the top i'm going to be marking 16 inches the 16 inches is actually our half length and this is also going to be serving as the baseline for our sleeve so we are going to be measuring this and we are going to mark it across. The next measurement we are going to be imputing is our neckline measurement. So for this top, I'm going to be using 3 by 3. So I'm going to mark 3 inches for the width and 3 inches for the depth. Now for this width, I actually want one of the shoulders to be a drop shoulder. So I'm going to still add 6 inches by the width of my fabric just watch and see what i'm doing so i'll first of all connect the first neckline measurement then i'm going to go ahead from the width i'll still measure six inches and i'll connect it also to that three inches for the depth so by the time i proceed to cutting the neckline you actually understand what we marked here so the next thing we're going to be doing is to impute other measurements so I'm coming to my waistline, I'm going to be using my hip measurement for this waistline because it's a very free top and you wouldn't want it to be hugging you, right? So at the waistline, which is this 16 inches, I'm going to be marking my hip measurement divided by 4 plus 1 inch same allowance. So we are working with hip of 8.5 plus 1 inch, that is 9.5. So we are going to be marking this. Remember I said the full length of our top is 22 inches, right? So this is it. Can you see 22 inches? So we are going to mark that down, then extend our measurements down to the 22 inches. So for the hemline, we have 9.5 and, and for the waist, we also have 9.5. And Having done this, the next thing we are going to be doing right now is to work on our sleeve. So for the sleeve, from the shoulder line, we are going to be marking 12 inches, which is this, right? Then we are going to connect it straight to the 24 inches we marked earlier for the sleeve. Remember our wrist, our wrist is not as big as this, right? So we actually want it to be very full. So what we are going to do right now is to connect a curved line from that 12 inches so this 16 inches you can actually make it to come down a bit just the way i'm doing right probably you just measure from 16 inches measure one inch downwards or you can even decide to still connect it on the 16 inches line that is your half length but i prefer it like this because i want it to have that cowl full so to achieve that fullness on our sleeve that is the reason why we are marking this curved line so i'm going to connect the line properly so you can see it So guys, kindly remember that all the markings we are doing is on the wrong side of our fabric, right? Because this fabric is folded into four. Can you see this? The shiny part is actually the right side of our fabric. So we'll be marking on the wrong side. 
The next thing we are going to be doing now is to cut out our pattern. When you're done cutting the sides of this dress, the next thing we are going to be doing now is to cut out the neckline. So the first thing I'm going to be cutting on the 3 by 3 inches we marked earlier on this line. So I'm going to cut this out first. When we are done cutting the first neckline, we are going to open up our top like so. Remember I said earlier that I want one of the shoulder to be a drop shoulder. So I'm going to be cutting on this 6 inches I marked additional. Can you see the line? So I arranged my fabric, then I'm going to be cutting on this line. So that way, just one of our shoulder is going to be longer than the other. Right now, let's open up our sleeve. Can you see the length of our sleeve? 12 plus 12, that is going to give us 24 inches. So I went ahead to cut out a strap of 24 inches long and the width is 4 inches. So by the time we take out half inch for the folding on both sides, we are going to be left with just 3 inches. So for this strap, I already cut 2 pieces for the 2 sleeves and I didn't have enough fabric so I had to join one of them. So when I'm done, I pin this down together. Can you see? I pin both the front and the back. After pinning this, you take it to your ironing table and give it a good press. Then from your ironing table, you go straight to your sewing machine and you're going to sew this down. So while sewing this, make sure you're sewing at the hemline. That that tip where you pin that joined both seams together. You sew it to give it a good finishing, a very neat finishing. So this band we did here is just an encasing for our elastic. We are going to go ahead and insert our elastic. So. Right here, I'm putting this around my wrist just to get my wrist measurement. Or you can actually measure your wrist, anyone that works for you. So, depending on what I got, I'm going to be adding 1 inch for seam allowance. Then I'm going to be cutting 2 pieces for this, for the both wrist. So, just using a lighter, I want to lock up the edges so it doesn't fray. But this is not really necessary anyways. So after we are done, we are going to be using our safety pin right now to insert this through the band. Remember our band has a hole, so we are going to be inserting this through that hole. While doing this, you actually want to be careful so you don't pierce yourself. After we are done inserting the elastic, we are going to use our office pin and hold this separately. Then when you are done, you take it to your sewing machine and secure this with a stitch. So guys, this is what we have. Can you see? This way, our elastic is not going to be pulling inside. The next thing I did was to come to the hip line where we marked our hip measurements earlier and we are going to be folding half inch up so we are going to use our hemming gum and press this down so can you see what it looks like we folded half inch this is just to give our bottom a very clean finish then after that we are going to be folding one inch up brother again then we are going to pin this down so with my office pin i'll go ahead and hold this down and i'll repeat the same thing for the other side as well So guys, can you see what we have? Now to bring to your notice, kindly note that I left some sides open. This is to enable me stitch one side of my top. So from the hemline, I'm going to stitch straight to the sleeve. So I'll take this to my sewing machine and I'm just going to stitch half inch through. Then after that, can you see what we have? I've already stitched the half inch. This is it. 
now i'm going to fold this other part up can you see how i'm folding it and i'll take this to my sewing machine and i'm going to stitch it down i'll stitch this down now this is to enable us insert our belt remember our top is going to be having a belt at the waistline now we are going to take this top to our sewing machine and we're going to sew from one open end to the other so guys can you see what we have here i sewed from one open end to the other and i sewed at the particular place we pinned just to get this top a good finishing now our top is going to be having an opening so we are going to be measuring four inch from the hemline to wherever our four inch tops and we are going to mark it down so after marking this i went ahead to notch it so the next thing i'm going to be doing is to sew half inch from the notched area straight to my sleeve length so having done that let's see what the outcome of our dress is so far can you see this you see how full the sleeve is now let's turn this inside out just to get a good view so guys if you've seen this video to this point please don't hesitate to give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and share this video thank you So guys, the next thing I did was to cut a long strap. This I will be using to face this opening we left. So after that, I'm going to be opening just 2 inches from that end part. I'm going to be opening 2 inches. Remember we hemmed the bottom before. So I'm going to be opening this. This is to enable me to give it a good finishing. Can you see this? So if we don't do this, you find out that you end up locking the holes, thereby not having any chance to insert your belt. So you're going to open this and you do the same thing for the other end. So right now we are going to be using our strap to face it this way. So I'll be folding one end, then I'll go ahead and run a stitch round. So what I'm going to be stitching now is just 0.25. Or you can go ahead and do half inch but to me 0.25 is just okay so i'm going to hem this right to the other end so at this middle part i'm going to be folding my seam line in two can you see the way i'm folding it can you see this i made it very flat so that way by the time i sew around that middle part i won't have any issues so let's go and do this and i'm going to show you what it looks like so guys can you see this the next thing i'm going to fold this then fold it this is just like using your bias tape so if you actually have a bias tape it's going to be very very easy for you so if you have a bias tape of the same color of the fabric you're working with then i think you should actually make it of a bias tape but because i didn't i had to use make it of a strap for my fabric so i'm going to fold this and fold it over again i'll take this to my sewing machine and i'm going to sew just at the hemline just to make it very neat so let's go ahead and do this so this is what we have can you see everything is laying nice and pretty then we are going to now fold the end back and lock it up again just the way we did that way we still retained our hole can you see this yes and this is going to serve as a passage for our belt now when we are done, we'll be working on the neckline as well. With my strap, I'll go ahead and hem this neckline. It's just going to be like a facing. So since I don't have my bias tape, I'm using this strap to face my neckline. So just like what we did for the other end, the opening for our belt, we're going to be doing the same thing for our neckline as well. So guys, at this part, I actually want us to watch closely. Can you see the way I sewed this? I made sure the end part of my bias tape goes into, into the line. 
I don't really know how to explain this, but if you look at this variable, you will see the way it's being sewn. I make sure the end part goes into the other line. So by the time we fold this, none of the straps will be coming out. Everything will be sitting nice and pretty. So the first thing I did was to fold one end. I sewed it round. Then at the ending part, I made sure I came into the facing as well. Then I'm going to go ahead and fold this. Can you see this? So I'm going to fold this just the way you do for your bias tape. And I'll take this to my sewing machine and I'll give it a very nice plain stitch. So at this point, can you see how our top has actually taken place? And everything is looking so nice and pretty. Now the next step we're going to be doing is to measure this area with our measuring tape. To get the accurate figure for your belt, all we are going to do is to measure this particular hemline from one point to the other. So you want to measure this carefully because you want to get a perfect figure. We have 38 here. Then I'm going to be doubling this. 38 plus 38, that should give us 76. So the length of our belt should be 76 inches. So I had to cut a very long strap, 78 inches. And if you notice, I went ahead to join fabrics because I didn't have enough fabric. So while making yours, make sure you have more than enough fabrics for your practicals. So I'm going to turn this and I'm going to be sewing half inch straight. So can you see this? I've actually sewed half inch and I left just one and a half inch in the middle for turning. I went ahead as well to lock this area and can you see how i'm folding here so i'm going to take this to my sewing machine and lock this edge the same thing for the other edge so guys this is what we have and i've gone ahead to iron this so i'm going to be inserting our belt through that hole remember the hole we left earlier that is where we are going to be inserting our belt so I'll be using my office pin as well. And remember while you're working with your office pin, you have to be very careful to avoid piercing your hand. So I'm going to run this through the hole till it comes out to the other part. So guys, we're actually done inserting this belt and can you see what it looks like? So at this point, you can decide to ruche this belt like this just to give it that firm hold on your waistline or you can decide to leave it like that laying plain. So it depends on how you want to style it when you're wearing it. So it's actually up to you. So guys, this is the fabric trimming I am actually making use of to design the neckline of this top. I got these trimmings from the lace fabric I had and I went ahead to cut a lot of pieces and I pinned this to my neckline just to get the particular design I wanted. Then I actually used my glue gum to hold this in place. You can actually tag this or make use of your glue gum to hold it. So I'll be showing us the finished look. So guys, this is the finished look of our top. Can you see how beautiful and full this is looking? So if you actually got value from this video, kindly give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe to our channel. If you have any question, kindly drop it in the comment section. We are going to be there to answer your questions. And if you have any suggestion as well, please feel free to drop your suggestions. Thank you for watching. Till we meet again. Bye.